Let's get to those flight units while we can. Enemy anti-air defenses are on patrol at higher altitudes. A low altitude approach is recommended. Got it, thanks. Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. <laughs> Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years were hiding underground? centuries. We've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, we can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I used Command's data to determine the signal's source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B?
What is this? Analysis. It is a cave-in caused by the collapse of an open space underground. Why is there such a huge cavern beneath the city? That's a weird looking enemy. The ground is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. This hallway looks pretty old. Look at all these dead machines. Seems like they've been here for a long time. What is this place? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. To be. Huh? Look. Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <gasps> to the graveyard of our creators. You. To be. Look out. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago. By us. 
the machines. Wiped out? And who knows, perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon, now they are interesting. Why that? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers! Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining option is to destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? <laughs> They're gone. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Two B, this is Operator Six O. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. Hey, how's it hanging? You again. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so... Here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running, too. Um... Thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too.
That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course. Your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments. And you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. Speaking of emotion, those Adam and Eve units sure seemed less than logical. I'm heading to the transporter. Fine. Um... Oh, it's 9S and 2B, yes. Those machines cost quite the ruckus, don't you think? We need to talk. Of course. I'll help however I can. Pascal. Yes, Tubi? Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? <laughs> I suppose that unpleasant songstress you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. You mean that singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the Forest Kingdom, but... Forest Kingdom? Yes. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Things have been rather rough there lately. This forest kingdom sounds like something we should check out. Say, 2B. What? When do you think you'll be willing to call me Nines? 9S works just fine. Well, yeah, but... This must be the commercial structure Pascal was talking about. The records say it was once a facility known as a shopping center. No getting through here. Maybe there's some kind of mechanism we could engage?
If we were human, we probably would have gone shopping and such here, right? More meaningless conjecture. <laughs> You're so serious, 2B. You know that? Alert. Multiple machine life forms detected above our position. All hail the Forest King. All hail the Forest King. Who the heck is the Forest King? You're getting distracted. Well, what do you expect? I'm a scanner. Combat was never meant to be my forte. Check this guy. He's just running away. It's going to explode! What's that? Hey there, guys. What's up? This thing's weird, Tubi. Let's kill it. Wait, what? No. Good idea. No! Okay, what was that? Looks like the forest is just ahead. Aim for the enemy androids. Engage battle mode. Now fight for your king. Fight! Here they come. Better keep your guard up. I'm aware of how to fight. You just be careful. I will, to be. These machines. They were talking about a king, right? I saw what looked to be a castle further in. Maybe we should take a look. We must protect our king and kingdom! We are We must not fall back! Fight! You have lived your whole life at this singular moment! For the What is with these guys? Don't listen to what they're saying, to be.
How are we supposed to reach that castle? So those machines had a king? But how can a concept like loyalty be understood by a machine?